Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome to another video on the Dominion map. George still isn't here, so I, since I've not had a video, I just thought I'd show you what I've been doing to it. Um, I finished the exterior, well, the boundaries of the map. I've put the two castles in, put some team colours on it, and I finished the corners as well. And I'm really happy with how it turns out. These are probably the most complex buildings I've ever built. Same with the walls as well. Look at that, loads of detail. Um, and also these dragon heads. They weren't 100% my design, they were on reddit and I can't remember who made them but they're pretty cool just for looks and also as well the things that aren't just boundaries are these two towers because the rest of this, these are just solely to keep people in the map, everything else has a function, you know spawn rooms, capture points, the dragons are just there for the hell of it, their decoration but these are slightly different, if I was to come up close to one then it would detect as a player and it would spawn a gas fireball. Now these, this is made using some filters by Seth Bling, and basically what it is, is it lets you punch it, and it'll fire, and basically it'll cause damage, so it'll be a, it's a cannon basically. And I've noticed as well, it's got quite a massive hitbox, you can stand next to it and just punch, and it'll fire to where you're looking. And it's set, I've set it so it spawn, one spawns every two seconds, although it feels a little bit faster at times. And if I leave it for more than two seconds, you'll notice an explosion here when I fire it. Like that. That's basically because there are multi mu there's just more than one there. Now, it's, it only spawns new ones when there's a, per a player within seven blocks of the spawner. And the spawner is right there. So as you can see, it's spinning. But past here, it's not actually spawning any. The reason I did that was I did previously set it so it was a 100 block, rad block radius. So it was basically anyone on the map caused that to spawn. However, when I was building, I was getting massive frame rate drops and didn't realize what it was until I went to punch one of these and then it had like a nuke. A nuke went off, like about a thousand fireballs were all in the same spot. I activated them all at once and I went absolutely flying. So that was pretty funny, but not really practical for the map. So I've deleted that. Now, the reason there's not one over here, it's the same as over there, as I've punched one and I've flown out before it can spawn one. So if I come close to it now, you'll see it spawns one and if I punch it and then fly back, it doesn't spawn it. Now that'll be pretty cool because it's just more fun. I've not actually, I mean I have seen maps with this in, but not a multiplayer map like this one. So if I just go with that. So it's just a nice little thing extra to add. Something else to go after because it's just some it'll give you map control basically. If some if people are running between the bases and you're up here, you can just fire gas fireballs at them and you know, it's it's pretty fun just to play around with really. Now you may notice nothing's actually setting on fire. Unless I actually fire it as a ground, if I do that, you'll notice there is fire. The reason because of that is I've got two game modes, two game rules set, and one of them is that mobs don't grief, and since this is a gassed fireball, it won't destroy blocks, and fire won't spread. Now, of course, fire doesn't spread on grass anyway, but for all this wood and stuff, it's safe. But, as you saw then, it does actually leave fire on the top of the block. Now, I don't want that at all. Um, you may notice that I've actually raised the path up by half a block. That's because fire can't exist on, ha on a half block, it would just be floating above it. So it does it on top of this. It does it on some other places, like on the top part of the castle here, but that's out of bounds. So I'm not really too bothered by that. I'll probably cover it up. But everywhere else actually has either a half block or some other block on top of it. Like you'll notice this is there. These will actually set on fire, but it doesn't really matter. The um, dragon, I've actually made it so there are half blocks over everything. As you can see, the hitbox is there. And pretty much everything is covered by a half block or a tall grass. And with grass, the way I'm going to fix that is with bone meal. Because this tall grass will actually protect it. Because fire can't be on top of tall grass. Because it's not a full block. But it, because of the game rule, it can't destroy it either. So it just blows up but causes no fire. So anywhere where there's grass, I'll be putting that on. And everywhere else, as you, know, as you may have noticed, this is all half blocks. Except for... Oh! Okay. I remember what I did. What I did here was I just played... I did have stair blocks because, in fact, actually that's a good reason. I must have... I played stair blocks like... not like that. Like that. And I thought, that's not much, there's not much point in that. Oh, that looks cool. I'll do that, yeah. Oh, there we go. And, yeah, okay, that'll be why I did it, but I, I forgot. So I'll just do that. So now fire won't be able to land on those. And these are half blocks anyway, these ones. So if I try it again... Whoa! Oh. So yeah, you can see that was about that was probably about five at the most because I, I was there for quite a while. But you know, it just explodes and nothing happens. You can imagine how much you can imagine how big the explosion was. 
because I was on here for about an hour just building this, and that was just gradually just spawning loads. Same goes for the other one as well. I was a bit more careful with that one though. But that's basically it for this video. Um, I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. Next, all they'll have to be is the middle section done for the arena, and then a bit more redstone down here, well, a lot more redstone, like the starting room. We're going to have classes as well. There's going to be like eight or so classes that you can pick, like, I don't know, like a wizard, scout, not a TF2 one, though. But sort of things like that, because that's just cool. It mixes it up a bit. So we'll take a bit of balance to get it right. But that's basically it. We're going to have shrines up as well. So, you know, more redstone, but things that you can activate and then there's a timer before it reactivates. Just to make the map more interesting. So rather than just being a big open plane to fight on, you've actually got things that you want to try and control. Like, obviously the four control points are still there. But, you know, you're not going to want the other team to have control of a cannon like this. Because what can also happen is, because I've been using the, the filters, these might not be too powerful. But I can up the blast of a gassed fireball, I believe, with another filter and make it so it absolutely, it could want, I could make the gas fireballs one shot people, so I could make the towers completely overpowered if I wanted to. So if the other team got, if you let the other team get hold of that, it wouldn't be a very good idea. But that's basically it, so I'll see you in the next video guys.